Hello Marvel Legends and welcome to another episode of Displaying Model Behaviour. I'm your host DG as always and we are going back once again for the Renegade Master. Uh, no, we're going back once again for the Legends Legacy Review and who could it be? We've got all these serpent type people here. Why do I go through this ritual? Because you've already seen the thumbnail. It's the eel. Yes, you guys, oh, you know me. You know that I love my D-list villains. Well, what happens when we go even further down the rabbit hole? You can't say E-list villains without E-E-E-L if you misspell it. So here is the eel. Ed Ed Edward, Edward, Edward Parnell is his name. I have Lavelle, not Parnell. You plum. I have, I have a mnemonic device. For some, for some reason, I have to say Avril Lavigne to then remember Edward Parnell. Something about those two names, like one one kicks off the other one. See, Dave? Lavelle Lavigne. That makes sense. Avril Lavigne, Edward Lavelle. That that makes sense. Where did, where did Parnell come from? You handsome dummy. My brain works in mysterious ways. Edward Parnell, the eel. Such a C-lister, D-E-lister, because you know me, I love to pepper my reviews with like different media and clips from uh, comics and films and video games. This guy? Nothing. Is he in the video games? No. Is he in any of the Avengers cartoons? No. He's got nothing. Poor old eel. He gets no love. So this might be a fairly brief review, which honestly, brevity is probably not one of my strong points. So let's just get to the meat and potatoes. We have a figure which is just, it. it's the repainted Bucky cap. It's the old tried and true favorite, but it's a nice repaint. I mean, come on, the blue and purple lines are really bright and bold. And yeah, that's kind of nice. It's not one of my favorites though, because you know, the, the blue and purple, they, they kind of, they complement each other rather than like standing out. So, you know, he has a, a fun kind of electricity kind of pattern on him, but you can't really make it out too well because the purple just kind of fades into the blue. So you can't really appreciate it. But speaking of fading, what I love though, is his hands. Look at how the hands are purple and yet we get the yellow electricity coming off of those. That is super cool. I, I, I will sort of give you just a little bit of backstory on, on, on the eel because I'm, since I'm going into his powers, I can tell you he doesn't get his powers from any kind of accident or mutant ability. Uh, it's just the suit. It's all the suit. Uh, there was an original eel before at Edward Parnell, and he, uh, he you know, the, the, the original eel died, and the new eel, you know, got hold of the suit and became the eel. And so, really, his main gimmick is the electricity. But also, it's funny because you know, if you just had electricity powers, why would you choose to call yourself the eel? It's like, would that really be the first thing that came to mind? It's like, wow, I have control of electricity. I'll be the eel. No, it doesn't make sense. However, this guy, from reading, I found out also has the ability to be slippery. <laughs> he's a he's a slippery eel, which is a nickname given to the wrestler Tamatonga as well, the slippery eel, which I kind of like, so I didn't realize, but he's actually like, <laughs> I just I just imagine him, you know, running away from Spider-Man, like the greased up deaf guy and family guy being like, you're never gonna catch me. <laughs> That's the eel. So yes, he has control over electricity and he is slippery. And that's essentially it. And he's always been like just a bit player. The reason why we have the serpent society here is of course, the eel kind of fits into the serpent motif. He joined up with the serpent society when uh, the Red Skull's daughter, Sin, was in charge. And they kind of, you know, did a few heists and whatnot before, you know, ultimately being foiled as they always are. But recently, he's cropped up in issues of uh, Amazing Spider-Man. Actually, I say recently, I went back and looked them up. This is like 2014. Like, that's nuts where, <laughs> where the time is going. Because I thought, oh, it's, it's post-Superior Spider-Man. So in my mind, that's recent. No, no, no. Post-Superior Spider-Man is 2014. That's just bonkers. But either way, he came back there uh, in, in a bid to kind of like re-establish his mob dominance, working with the Magia again. But this time he actually became a Magia boss, which brought him into conflict with the Black Cat when she was trying to re-establish her criminal empire. And they had some cool exchanges where Eel was basically trying to strong-arm Black Cat, who was conversely trying to strong-arm him. He's like, honey, I got a name in this town. Shall we carry on? 
He's like, I got a name in this town. Your name ain't worth nothing because Spider-Man took that away. I'm the eel. I'm a Magia boss. I don't have to answer to you or nobody. In which point, Black Cat promptly, you know, whooped his ass. So it's fair to say that despite his slippery powers and his electricity, he ain't got much of much. Um, this is kind of wasted. Let me put these guys back. And we're back. And we're back again. So let's just move on with the review, shall we? We've, we've covered the essentials. The, the mask, I, what I like about this face sculpt with the mask is that it really looks like, you know, he, is, he has a human face wearing a mask and, and like you can see how the material is like pulled over. That's something I really love about the, the, this head sculpt is you can almost see sort of ruffles and wrinkles in the mask. Like it is like, like he's talking like this because it feels like it's pulled over his mouth. Probably very uncomfortable, but it, it looks it looks cool. It looks legit. There's just enough little little wrinkles and creases in the side of his head like you can see there. Uh, it reminds me of like a luchador mask. That's really cool. I, I kind of dig that. So uh, really, the only question outstanding now is Intelligentsy Elf. What bar is the eel? Greetings, Earthlings! Intelligentsia with Tier 4K here. Today, we have the eel. What bar is the eel, you ask? Good question. In third place, the eel is a bottle of Rabenna Really Light No Sugar Added Blueberry. <laughs> and in second place, the eel is a packet of Natural Paleo Ostrich Snacks. Also a healthy choice. And in first place, what bar is the eel? The eel is a can of Suntry Fizzy Grape Drink. And that's that. Back to you, David. And that was the Intelligentsy Elf who was kind enough to let me drag her down to my level, which is much appreciated. Highly recommend you go and check out her, her channel. She's part of like a, a team of action figure re reviewers. I'll leave a link in the description below. Top quality stuff. Like imagine my show, but without all the mad rambling and actual care going into production qualities. It's it's really something. So anyway, let's move on now. We've got the eel sort of basics, but what I wanted to show you, I want to do, do a little comparison so you can see the electricity hands have been reused many, many times. So these hands, they're, they're, they're so well done. I can appreciate why Hasbro wanted to reuse them because they're just a fun design. So we've got the vintage uh, retro electro here. We've got the modern electro and we've got eel all sporting the same hands. Plus we have those hands on Storm in the X-Men as well. So anyone who has electricity based powers, these hands lend themselves, but where these hands differ from the Electro ones. You see, the Electro are all the same color, which is cool, you know, that's that's fine. But I really love the way that his purple hands, the color fades out into the electric yellow. I just think that works so, so well. So really, the only question now is where does he rank on the Legends Legacy ranking? You know, even though I do like the eel with his crazy electricity hands and the cool masked face, he really is the most basic of bare bones figure. No accessories, nothing extra to him, really just a repaint. So I can't go too high, but I will put him well into the 20s. I'm gonna go below Spider Girl, but above Yellow Jacket, who shows his age more. I think a pretty respectable place on the Legends Legacy ranking. So he may be a basic figure, but he still gets a pretty respectable ranking because he's he's fun. He doesn't need anything else. That's the thing. Hasbro must have been licking their lips when they saw this guy because they were like, oh, all we got to do is just repaint Bucky Cap. We love doing that. But they did a nice repaint job. I love the yellow in the eyes as well. Of course, you know my my camera here isn't going to focus very well, but yeah, you can see the, the piercing yellow eyes. It looks cool. It looks really fun. So before we go, let's do like a little a little um, comparison here, because that's always fun. We can have our our electric electric hands next to one another. Oh, well, Electro's come off of his stand, so I'm not going to do that. But I'll put him with the Serpent Society as well, because there's just something wonderfully satisfying about having all these guys lined up in a row, just looking looking kind of boss. And you can see how they compare to one another. It's a good time. And hey, that, that's why we have, that's why we collect these figures, because we want to see them all lined up, posed together. That is a pretty, ah, that, there, there we go. Ah, <laughs> it's 
just mad noises coming from my room. So there we go. That is the eel along with his Serpent Society brothers. We've got another electric hand here and let's just bring in Iron Fist and Power Man as well. His first opponents, the first of many, many people to ad administer brutal beatings to the eel because let's face it, he can, he can be a mug, he a don, he can be a boss, he can be all he wants, but he will always be jobber fodder for the Marvel Universe, quite frankly. But that notwithstanding, I give this figure a sub rating of... Not great, not terrible. And that's about all I've got to say about the eel. Folks, thank you so much for joining me here. Thank you to Intelligentsy Elf for lending her talents to the Watt Bar segment. And guys, if you like what you see here and you want to see more, then join the 61 Clicks by clicking the like, share, and subscribe button. And also, before I go, I'm going to pass you over to my favorite segment, the Data Blast, where I show you all of the fantastic work that I've recently discovered on Instagram. If you like what you see and you want to follow those guys, check out their IDs and give them a follow. I, the more influence and uh, interaction that I've had with this community through Instagram, the more I'm just like, God, I love you guys. You're such a good bunch of people and everyone just wants to help each other out, share all their stuff. It's just freaking awesome. So more of that to come. In the meantime, guys, you know the drill. Keep displaying model behavior. The biggest unanswered question is where is the money? The whole lot more coming. The biggest unanswered question is where is the bus? Unanswered question is where is the money? Where is the money? Where is the bus?